Hello, welcome to ArtshowTalesOnline.com. My name is Paul Priestley, and today we're going to be looking at the third in my series on pen and ink drawing. We're going to be using one of these, a standard pen, a dip pen like this one, and also a pen I've made out of a piece of wood. Simply carved, yes. Today we're going to be concentrating on dots, using dots to create texture. So let's make a start. Yes, come on. I'm going to be using exactly the same materials as in the previous two uh, videos, namely a pen, Windsor News drawing ink, a dip pen and drawing nib, and a piece of stick which I've carved to a nice flat point. All three will produce different marks. We'll start with the dots with the pen and you'll notice I'm simply just sketching out a simple circle shape here and you've got to keep tapping away it, it makes your wrist ache a little bit but you've got to keep going you've got to sacrifice something for your art you see so the more you build up the dots the greater the tone is the darker the tone is and you'll notice you can get some very subtle effects by using dots as you can see here you can suggest three dimensions very very easily the dip pen will produce darker dots and therefore darker tones. It produces slightly bigger dots, slightly cruder dots than the fine pen. Um, but again, it gives you a nice interesting mark. And if you keep building up the dots, as you can see here, you can produce a much darker tone. It makes things look a little bit closer, possibly. The stick. Well, the stick produces nice, big, thick, bold marks, as you can see here. And the more you dip with the stick, and that's difficult to say, then the darker tone will be. And you can see you can create some really dark tones by using the stick. But notice the difference between them. The smaller the dots, the more subtle they are. The bigger the dots, the more crude they are. Now, if you're drawing a simple shape, as we did before this, almost like a can shape, just go around with the dots again, okay, and then gradually build up the shape. Now, again, this sort of technique for drawing objects is great for drawing objects which might be further back in the picture, in the background, where you just want something that looks very soft and subtle. And you can see here, I'm building up this shadow very softly, very subtly, just with dots overline the dots so the change in tone is very subtle as you can see now when we move on to the dip pen you'll see the dip pen produces a much stronger bolder sort of image so here we're working with the dip pen the dots much bigger slightly more crude not quite so even as the manufactured pen you see, so just produce a very, very simple shape. But again, following the same idea, just adding more and more dots, gradually building it up. It takes time, it's hard work, but it pays dividends. You've got to really go for it if you want to produce a really good piece of work. So you've got to keep building up these tones, keep building up the dots. You get sick of doing dots, but it, it's worth it. It's worth it, as you can see here. Look at that subtle change of tone that you can get with the dots. Much more subtle than you can get with line or even with the scribble. You see, we just finished this little bit off here. Just put a little few more tones, uh, dots on here to build up the tone. As you can see with the inside of the section. And just a little bit at the bottom to finish off the shadow, as you can see. Now, once we've done this one, we'll go on to make the um, object using the darker dip pen. You'll notice, have you noticed how one object looks as though it's closer to you than the other, simply because it's darker in tone? The same thing will happen with this one, because the dip pen is producing much darker, bolder, stronger outlines and more d uh, dark, darker dots. You can see it makes the object look closer to you. Also, size brings the object closer to you as well. But again, we'll simply build up the dots, as you can see here. This can get quite dark on this side now make the dots really nice and strong, nice and bold. And you can see much cruder effect, but makes the object bigger, bolder, closer to you. You see that you can see the difference between the three objects here, how one looks closer than the others. Look out for the next video in this series where I'll combine lines, scribbles and dots in the same pen and ink drawing. Wonderful. 
Thank you for watching Archie Tours Online. I hope you've learnt how to use dots in pen and ink drawing. If you want to learn more about uh, pen and ink drawing, then check out the rest of my series. If you're interested in other drawing videos designed for beginners, um, have a look at my YouTube channel where you'll find lots of helpful videos that will um, get you drawing in no time at all. Please don't forget to subscribe and if you're interested in supporting the production of these videos then please check out my Patreon channel. I'll see you in the next video.